Mina, come on, why? Jesus freaking gamer here. Psalm 63 this time, and looking at the beginning of verse 1, I'll read all of verse 1. I'm going to focus on the first part of it. O God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. There are a lot of metaphors I could draw upon for this verse and some good stuff. The part that I'm looking at for this small message here is the early will I seek you. Now, I, I the reason that part sticks out to me is because I notice, you know, I'm publishing this after midnight, in the middle of the night. There's nothing early about um, about me. There's nothing early about when I release my videos. For anyone who notices the times when they've been uploaded, or my first thought is if I'm reaching, if my notifications are waking people up for my videos, oh, just that thought makes me feel so bad. I have my notifications turned off because, you know, I don't... <laughs> Everyone, everyone on YouTube has a different time, time frame and a time schedule. And I'm just, even the people that I love the most, like Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, those guys, I don't have their notifications on because, you know, I'll watch them when I have the time. Life is busy. Life is pretty full. So I'll watch them when I get the chance. You know, I'm, I'm not, I don't have to watch it as soon as it comes out. Um, there's literally nothing in the world that important to me. <laughs> Probably one of the reasons why I don't do a lot of early or immediate Let's Plays on YouTube. Nothing nothing in this life really strikes me as that important. That's just kind of the person I am. But the early will I seek you. Early will I seek you. I think it applies to me and it applies to every human being. And I don't believe that's necessarily a time of day. If you're a night person like me, um, you know, this verse taken kind of at just very blunt, literal value sounds like a nightmare. Like, oh, crap, I've got to wake up, you know, at five or six in the morning and, you know, spend an hour or two with God before as the sun is coming up or before the sun comes up. It's horrible. It's the only one I'm going to bed. But I don't believe this is referring to a time of day. I believe this verse is referring to the preeminence of God in your life. Is God the one that you pay attention to first? When you wake up, whenever you wake up, is he the first thing that pops into your mind? Is he the first priority? Do you spend a little bit of the beginning of your day with him? I do believe that it's a good idea to start the day off with God. Um, and I speak from not just this verse and what I believe it means, I also speak from practical experience. When I place God at the beginning of my day as opposed to the end of my day, the rest of the day tends to flow a little bit smoother. And if the Lord does have something to deposit in me, then it's deposited right then and there at the beginning of the day. And if there's something that I should do that day, then it's a good thing that I spent that time with God at the beginning of the day so now I can do the thing that he's told me to do. And of course, you know, God, he's God. He can interrupt me in the middle of my day and be like, oh, son. Pay attention to that. Son, could you stop what you're doing and do this? Of course he can do that. But if I have a mind frame and a mindset of, God, I'm going to give you the first part of the day. You get the beginning. Speak to me now. I want to spend time with you now. I want to make you first. Then I, th I would theorize that those interruptions don't have to happen. And you're more of a mindset of, what does God want me to do? Whereas sometimes God won't interrupt you. He'll simply let you do whatever it is you're doing. Since you didn't set aside the time for him, he's not going to interrupt your day and stop your flow because you're not really that focused on him. And I think for a lot of people, that could sound a little bit offensive because it hits so close to home. It sounds like a rebuke because you're taking it that way, because that's how you're feeling about it. That may not necessarily be true, and that's not how I intended it, believe it or not. But I feel like when I say it that way, a lot of people could be like, you know, that, that statement kind of hurt. And I think that statement hurt because it applies to you. I think that is more, there's a good, good chance that if you took it that way, that that is applicable to you. You may not be giving God the first part. You may not be giving him the choicest bits of who you are and of, of every day of your life. So please pray about that. Think about it. Take it into consideration. Think about Think about the things that I've said here. Determine in your own heart whether there is merit or truth in them or not. And guys, either way, thank you very much for giving me a little bit of time and um, giving me the chance to speak into your life a little bit. Love you very much. And God bless.